Well, Duel in the Desert Part 2. He's starting to get a little nervous. I can tell you that this one's going to go a lot differently. Like, no contest. Won't even be a competition. It'll be a joke. That confident. Not like that sham of a swim meet where you had the judges in your pocket and didn't get disqualified. That will never happen again. Here, bud, you need a drink? Here, let's have a drink. Some, it's good for you. Some of your piss? This is just some uh, nutrition, sports nutrition. Oh my god. What are you, how are you feeling? I had a big day. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling uh, pretty rested. I'll have two days recovery after a hard block. And uh, final workouts went pretty good. I think I, I think I think a A, a performance would be uh, under 32 minutes, and an A plus performance would be under 31 minutes. So, but no limits. Let's uh, let's get out there. I did that final session with a uh, hard swim, hard bike, and uh, seven days of training leading in. So I'll be a bit rested. And usually you can transcend, if you've been training properly, you can transcend the training in a race. I also haven't done a running race since 2018, so it'll be a lot of fun to feel the feelings of just doing a pure running race fresh. Lionel, tell us what happened last night on the uh, treadmill. <laughs> no. I walked into the training room. I thought, I was like impressed. I was like, <laughs> mom was laying on the ground. I was like, dang, she tried the rollers <laughs> and, and failed. On me. Unfortunately, she tried the treadmill and failed <laughs> and destroyed my rollers. And Aaron saved me. And Lionel said. She almost went under the Brett, treadmill, what are you though. Doing? <laughs> Those treadmills are dangerous. You watch facing. it. Did you just trip? I was I think it facing sucked you the under treadmill there. with Lionel's bike on, on me and my back against the rollers. Yeah, I didn't know that I needed to pad the back wall. <laughs> so what? what is the reason you're doing a uh, 10K? What is the reason? Yeah. The major reason is I would like to get back into doing races, well, particularly in the run, but races in general in the three disciplines so i'd also like to continue our swimming series or even enter some real swim meets and i think uh five and ten k's are a great opportunity to kind of hit the upper threshold or even a vo2 max for real vo2 max i'd say is like on your own pretty well impossible to hit so great opportunity to do a really good high-end workout, not a ton of taxation, and then uh, hopefully that'll pay dividends in the racing by pushing the ceiling up and up and up and up. And it also makes you feel confident when you put forth a good performance in the individual disciplines, then you know when you go to the putting the three together that you're in really good shape. Plus I want to whoop your ass. <laughs> All right, so Lionel and I are racing this weekend in the Rock and Roll Arizona Tempe 10K. He's given me a 12 minute buffer. Unfortunately, I did a little too much too soon in my training. I have a little leg injury, but it's doing better. I've been working hard on it to get through it. But if I was to estimate, I think I can run about a 45, 46. 44 is gonna be pretty tough. Although I'm in better shape when I did my, I did a 5K time trial about four weeks ago and I did 22 minutes. But I'm in a lot better shape now, but I've spent the last five days off of running, <laughs> trying to nurse this injury. So, we'll, uh, we're about to head to Phoenix, pick up our packets.
Also, Kyle Glass and Trevor Foley are doing it with us, so. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Just a little, though. I should be able to retain the title. Yeah. Who's it there, Scott? All right, we made it to check in. We got Pro Tri News, Kyle Glass. Watching the game. Watching uh, the wild card game. And uh, Lionel's running behind us in the Winnebago. We don't know how far they are. They, Lionel likes to drive slow and always, if Lionel tells you he's gonna be somewhere at five o'clock, then he's gonna get there at about six o'clock. So we went ahead and just came down. And most importantly, we brought the trophy. I will continue to defend this title, the duel in the desert. Kyle, you can sit can in the trunk. It? No, don't touch that, that's mine. We also got Trevor Foley in the house. He's racing with us. And we're about to check in at the uh, the convention center. And we just realized, well, let me show you real quick. Hold on, let me show you something. Yeah. You can't see it up there, but I just now found out that the Super Bowl is going to be in uh, Phoenix this year. So time to go to pack and pick up. All right, so I brought the trophy to uh, to pack and pick up. Lionel, Lionel and them are getting here now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry, I'm gonna carry the trophy through pack and pick up. Lionel's about to be so annoyed. <laughs> hey, don't get mad that I have it right now. No, don't be mad that I have it right now. Not you. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. There. Always, always a sore loser. I like that a lot. What is your 10K PR? 3033. When did you run that? 2012. At the Mississauga 10K and half marathon, I believe. Can you get anywhere near that? I don't want to put limits on it, but... Based on how 301 pace felt on Wednesday, I mean it was at the end of a training block, but based on how it felt, I'm gonna say that that would be that would be next level. And what's uh, Trevor gonna run? I mean that's really hard to say. I, I would say based on what I saw on Wednesday, he should he should be able to run really well. He claims he's not fit. I mean, he drove 30 hours and 15 minutes later was dropping me in a run workout. So I would say he's, he's decently fit. Um, sub 31 for sure. Sub 30. It's probably within reach. But, I mean, the guy rode three hours today, so he's certainly not tapering for it. Allegedly. 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 All That's right. what... So... The, the, key to, the key to Pro Try News yeah. is yeah. usually if you say allegedly, then people don't it? believe you. Yes, we're putting this on Slow Twitch tonight. This is the schedule right here. PTO schedule. Oh! Same base. <sighs> All right, that's good. A a a a cool. That's cool. It's fun, but I, I, I wanted to... Sucks. Dude, I get to win a lot. I'm talking about the rock and roll. Here we are at uh, Dub City. <laughs> Here we are at mile five. Uh, Lionel is, I don't know, like feeding the kid or something. I don't know. He gets that kid a lot of attention. He's only known him for a couple months, so it's kind of weird. Anyways. This is the hill at mile five, and I'm just out here studying because I actually am trying to take this seriously. Uh, but if you see, this is the start of the, the final hill, the climb at the end. Uh, ignore the scooter, I placed it here for strategic reasons tomorrow uh, because this is toward the bottom and I will be have my phone app ready and be hitting it up the hill. This is the final kicker. I'm getting a little nervous. This is, uh, I'm, I have, I'm gonna go around 45 with the scooter probably 42 43 but uh start the nerves are kicking in we're about to go eat some pizza but i wanted to come see the course i'm i'm professional i don't try to say he's professional the true professional right here study it uh 
Oceanside and then old PTO. Yeah. What's maybe, your race? What's your race schedule? Maybe something in June. Now. Yeah. Pardon? What's your race schedule this year? Uh, there is only one race tomorrow, 7:20 a.m. Destruction of Talbot Cox. All right, Trevor. What's your predicted time? About three seconds faster than that guy. Oh! oh <laughs> wow! All love, all love. Whoa. Yikes! Kyle, predicted time. Forty-two minutes. You're running forty-two, or him? Oh. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> all right, into the night here. You can follow us on the tracker, rock and roll tracker. Follow Becky Sanders, Kyle Glass, Trevor Foley, Colonel Sanders. Don't follow me because that'd be really Tell weird. <laughs> and Becky's running the half, so if, if she goes over an hour, it's not because she's uh, not running the 10K, it's because she's running the half. Need some good energy, pair them up for under two. All right, see you in the morning. See y'all. Peace out.